Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever type it may be. And in this video, we're going over all of the new top 10 best class setups to use after the update in Modern Warfare. Now, if you guys are trying to go for your first nuke or potentially increase your KD, I highly recommend you guys checking out some of these class setups immediately. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 350 likes. If you guys are enjoying and want to see any more best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or potentially a gameplay breakdown where I break down and analyze my gameplay or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve, Make sure you guys absolutely smash the button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. Let me know down in the comment section right now, after all of these updates in Modern Warfare, what is your favorite gun to use and what is your go-to weapon that you guys go ahead and equip when you guys are trying to destroy a lobby or go for a nuke. Now let's go ahead and check out some of these classes. This is gonna be my first class setup, the easy nuke. This is gonna be my first setup I always go back to if I need to 110% nuke a lobby. Now this is gonna be using the M4A1. Now I have on the Modelic Suppressor, which is gonna add sound suppression as well as damage range. I'm also equipping the stock M16 Grenadier Barrel, which is gonna add damage range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control. In my opinion, this is gonna be the absolute best barrel to run on the M4A1. It's gonna significantly reduce the vertical recoil, making this weapon a lot easier to use at longer ranges. Now for the third attachment, I'm running the Commando foregrip which is going to add recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability this is going to completely iron out the recoil pattern with the m4a1 making it an absolute laser and incredibly effective if you guys are trying to sit back and pick enemies off now for the fourth attachment i'm running the tack laser this is better than the stipple grip tape it adds more mobility and also it's going to allow us to have increased aim down sight speed increased aiming stability as well as increased aim walking steadiness all three important traits you guys want to have on all of your assault rifle classes that you're going to be sitting back and pick enemies off from longer ranges and then finally i have on the 60 round magazine so i can take out four five six seven eight enemies at a single time without accident reload and still have some bullets to spare this is very forgiving to use on the m4a1 and honestly any assault rifle that has a high fire rate low recoil that you guys can just pick enemies off with ease now for the secondary i'm going ahead and running the renetti pistol on all of my class setups that i do select a secondary handgun i'm running the renetti with these specific attachments the Molex suppressor the mk burst mod which transformed this weapon into a three round burst pistol i'm also running the Mach grade trigger which is going to allow us to have increased fire rate and aiming stability i'm running the 27 round magazine so i can take out more enemies at a single time without accident reload and then finally i have on the fully loaded perk so i can have a secondary that i can consistently fall back on and never have to worry about it running out of ammo and for the perks that i'm using on this sit back pick enemies off class setup i have on quick fix because it allows that increase our health a lot faster every time we get kills in rapid succession i'm running restock so i can resupply my lethals as well as my tacticals and then finally i'm running tracker so if i do decide to get into the enemy spawn i'm gonna be hidden their death icons are not gonna show up and i can see the footsteps of enemies so i can better you know put myself in a good position and see exactly the traffic flows and where enemies are headed Overall, in my opinion, the three best perks if you guys are running a class that, that's not utilizing specialists or if you guys are trying to just go for a nuke while sitting back and just picking enemies off. And for my lethal and tactical, I'm always running a proximity mine as well as a stem shot. Now for my second class setup, this is going to be utilizing the M4A1 but with specialists as well as overkill. Now, with my specialist class setups, I like to be aggressive. I like to run and gun. That's how I like to use specialists and how I recommend you guys going ahead and utilizing specialists here in Modern Warfare. Now, for the M4A with the specialist build, I'm still running the stock M16 Grenadier Barrel, but I've went ahead and swapped out the Commando Foregrip for the Merc Foregrip for increased recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy. This is a better attachment to use on the m4 if you guys are trying to 
to run and gun and get into the enemy spawn. I find this more helpful because it's not only going to reduce that vertical recoil, but you can also hit fire enemies a lot easier and obviously running and gunning, that's going to be something you guys want to do. Now for the third attachment, I still have on the 60 round magazine, but I went ahead and actually put on the stippled grip tape on this class because it works better with specialists, especially because you're going to have increased aim down sight speed and also increased sprint to fire speed. This is going to be better for running and gunning and something I recommend you guys using at all times on your aggressive specialist classes. And then finally, I have on the no stock attachment, which is going to add movement speed as well as aim down sight speed, transforming this M4A1 into an AR SMG hybrid. Now for my secondary, I'm running the MP5. I always run an MP5 whenever I'm running a specialist overkill class setup. Now for the MP5, I have on the same attachments for all of my overkill specialist builds. The monolithic integral suppressor, which is going to add sound suppression as well as bullet velocity, a very important attachment on this weapon because it actually works better than the monolithic suppressor itself. It's going to what makes the MP5 feel like it's killing enemies a lot faster. It's also going to be equipped with the Merc foregrip for increased recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy. You always want to run to run a Merc foregrip on all your SMG builds because it's going to be a lot easier to hip fire enemies and honestly the hip fire on the MP5 is absolutely insane. Now for the third attachment I'm running the 45 round magazine which obviously is allowed to take out more enemies at a single time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And still have ammo to spare. I'm running the stippled grip tape for increased aim down sight speed as well as increased sprint to fire speed. And I'm also going to be running the FTAC collapsible stock for increased movement speed as well as increased aim down sight speed, allowing this SMG to feel a lot more aggressive and you can absolutely destroy players anywhere on the map utilizing specialists. Now, for my perks, I'm running EOD, Overkill, as well as Amped. EOD, obviously, so I can run through Claymores, Bettys, Simtexes, Molotovs, Thermites. This is an aggressive class setup, so EOD is going to be very important. Overkill, obviously, so I can run two attachments or two weapons, excuse me. And then finally, I have on the Amped perk, so I can swap my weapons a lot faster because I'm utilizing two primaries. Might as well need to swap them if you guys are in a sticky situation. And for my specialist perks, I have on Quick Fix ghost as well as cold blooded and then obviously once you do unlock specialist at eight kills you're going to get everything in the game and become a super soldier and again i have on the proximity mine as well as the stem shot for my lethal and my tactical now for my third class setup we're utilizing the Kilo 141, which is going to be an M4A1 replacement. I absolutely love the Kilo 141, and this is a class that I recommend you guys going ahead and checking out if you guys haven't already. Now, for the Kilo 141, I'm actually not running a muzzle. I'm running a barrel, the Syngarms, Syngard Arms Whisperer Barrel, which is going to add sound suppression as well as bullet velocity. This is the absolute best barrel to run on the Kilo 141, and it allows us to kill enemies a lot faster due to that increased sound suppression. Now for the second attachment, I'm running the Merc 4 grip for the same reason I run it on the MP5. It's going to be allowing us to have increased recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy. The Kilo 1 for 1 is a mobile assault rifle. You can use it at long ranges, but honestly, I love the Merc 4 grip on this weapon and I feel like it works better than the Commando 4 grip. Now I'm going ahead and also in the 60 round magazine, the six, uh, stippled grip tape, and I also have on fully loaded on this perk. I have an additional kind of perk, an additional slot for this class setup. So having full loaded is really helpful on my Kilo 1 for 1 builds. I can play the game at my own pace. I always have max ammo and I can essentially lock down multiple locations without actually throwing, throwing down my ammo box until I go ahead and get my tactical nuke. Now, for my secondary, I have on the Renetti again with the same exact attachments as I did for my previous M41 class setup. And then again, I'm running Quick Fix, Restock Tracker, Proximity Mine, as well as the Stem Shot. Like I said, this is going to be an M4A1 replacement. If you guys like the Kilo 1 for 1 better, I highly recommend going ahead and checking out this class setup. It's going to be one you can use to play defensive, aggressive, and it has virtually no recoil in Modern Warfare. Now for my fourth class setup, I'm using a Kilo 1 for 1, but I have on Specialist. This is going to be an aggressive 
Kilo 141 build. Now for this build, I have on, again, the Syngard Arms Whisperer Barrel. I have on the Merc Foregrip. I have on the 60 round magazine. I'm equipping the stippled grip tape. And also I have on the no stock for this class setup. This is going to be a run and gun kilo build. Again, an M4 replacement. And honestly, I find myself dropping more nukes with this class setup than I do my M4A1 specialist build. Not my assault build, but my specialist build. I do like this one better with specialist, but I know a lot of you guys enjoy the M4A1, and that's exactly why I have it included in my class setup list. Now, for my secondary, again, I'm running the MP5 same exact attachments it is a solid secondary and honestly what i run on all of my specialist builds and then for the perks same thing eod overkill amped quick fix ghost and cold-blooded with the proximity mine as well as the stem shot now for my fifth class setup we're gonna be looking at the ak-47 which in my opinion is a dangerously underrated assault rifle here in modern warfare not a lot of people use this gun and i have no idea why i think people just don't like to control the recoil which is understandable but if you guys master the ak-47 and build a class setup that enhances its strengths as well as kind of reduces its weaknesses you're gonna be finding yourself using a weapon that destroys now for the ak-47 we're gonna be using the monic suppressor and we're gonna be also running the 23 inch romanian barrel this is gonna add damage range bullet velocity as well as recoil control in my opinion this is gonna be the absolute best barrel to run on the ak-47 because it's gonna be significantly reduce the vertical recoil with this weapon making it a lot easier to use at medium to long ranges now for the third attachment i'm going to be selecting the tac laser this is fantastic on high damage high recoil class setups that you guys have to stock up on attachments that can potentially reduce the aim down sights speed now you're going to want to go ahead and equip this because it's going to add aim down sight speed aiming stability as well as aim walking steadiness this is very important on the ak-47 because you want to have a stable steady shot when trying to pick enemies off at longer ranges this is a high damage assault rifle so the more shots you hit on target the faster the enemy is going to go down now for the fourth attachment we're going to be running the 40 round mags i absolutely love running the 40 round mags on this gun because it kind of gives you a little bit of a cushion some leeway room just in case you miss a couple shots you still have enough to take out four five six seven eight enemies at a single time without actually having to reload this is a high damage assault rifle you're going to be melting through enemies and the ak-47 is devastating with this attachment now finally we're gonna be selecting the skeleton stock which is gonna add aim walking movement speed as well as aim down sight speed another attachment to kind of speed up its weapons aim down sight speed making it a lot easier to use at close and also medium ranges if you guys need to snap onto targets this is gonna be a solid class if you guys are up to a challenge and want to use something out of the norm now the secondary again is going to be the renetti pistol same exact attachments and the perks are going to be quick fix restock as well as tracker and then obviously the proximity mine as well as the stem shot now we're going to be looking at another underrated assault rifle that is high damage and that's going to be the scar now the scar is a monster especially if you guys build this class setup up, up for no recoil and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing here now for the scar we're running the malik suppressor as well as the forge tack 20 inch long barrel this is going to add damage range bullet velocity as well as recoil control this is going to completely reduce the vertical recoil this weapon does have and it is a lot so this is going to be a mandatory attachment for this weapon now for the third attachment we're going to be running the commando foregrip because it's going to completely stabilize this weapon and allowing us to be pinpoint accurate at longer ranges we're also going to be using the tack laser on this gun so we can speed up that aim down sight speed because we have a lot of attachments that are going to slow it down and it's also going to make this weapon steady as hell and very easy to use at longer ranges i highly recommend you guys going ahead and putting on the tack laser on the scar out of all the weapons that i I recommend putting the tack laser on this gun benefits from it the most 
And then finally, we have on the 30 round magazine, because unfortunately, the Scar has a 20 round mag by default, and that's just not going to be enough. You're literally going to be able to take out one to three enemies max. This one, you have more cushion, and if you guys do miss a couple of extra shots, you have ammo left to spare. And that's going to be my no recoil, high damage Scar class setup that destroys here in Modern Warfare. Same exact secondary, Renetti, with the same exact attachments, quick fix, restock. I also have on tune-up on this class setup. The reason I have on tune-up instead of tracker is because this is going to be a setup you're not going to be rushing with, and you're going to want to get that ammo box as quickly as possible so you guys are stayed locked and loaded. And for the lethals, again, I have on the proximity mine as well as the stem shot. Now, we're going to be transitioning over to some rushing class setups that are fantastic if you guys do not want to run specialists. Now, we're going to be looking at the MP5. This is going to be a 7 attachment MP5 class setup. We have a muzzle and a barrel combined with the monolithic integral suppressor. We have on the Merc 4 grip. We have on the 45 round magazine. We have on the stippled grip tape. And we have on sleight of hand. And additionally, we have fully loaded because you guys can see here we have on the Renetti pistol which has fully loaded and it also shares the same ammo as the mp5 so we're gonna be able to stay locked and loaded with the mp5 when trying to run and gun same perks quick fix restock tracker lethal proximity mine as well as the stem shot for a tactical this is a fantastic run and gun mp5 class setup if you guys are trying to build up a class up you guys can use to rush get a lot of kills and get a nuke but actually not having to run specialists now for our second build we're we'll looking at the aug which is an underrated smg here in modern warfare it's kind of an smg ar hybrid now for the aug i have on the monolith suppressor i'm also running it with the 407 millimeter extended barrel this is gonna allow us to have increased damage range increased bullet velocity as well as increased recoil control this is gonna be in my opinion the best barrel to run on this gun because you're still gonna have the max range as the 622 long barrel but you're gonna be a little bit more mobile and that's what you want to have with a smg now i have on the 32 round nine millimeter uh rounds with this weapon i like to run this over the 5.56 because honestly i don't notice a difference between the time to kill and you're going to still have more bullets to spare which obviously is going to be a huge plus with this weapon i'm running the stippled grip tape and i'm also running the forge attack cqb comb stock which is going to add increased aim down side speed so you guys can go ahead and run and gun and have a fantastic time using this weapon now something that's awesome about the aug it is a nine millimeter smg so around the renetti it has on fully loaded so essentially you're gonna have a six attachment aug class with fully loaded additionally on that setup so you guys can stay locked and loaded and go for your nukes without actually having to you know worry about running out of ammo same exact perks quick fix restock tracker proximity mine as well as the stem shot now for my third rushing class i'm going to be messing around with the uzi the uzi is disgusting we all know how good the uzi is especially if you build up the class setup properly monolith suppressor 16.5 inch factory carbine barrel increased damage range increased bow velocity as well as increased recoil control in my opinion one of the best barrels to run on this weapon gonna greatly extend that two to three shot kill range you get when you guys are running a specific attachment and speaking about that specific attachment we're gonna be selecting the 0.41 ae 32 round magazine which is gonna add damage and range allowing the uzi to get two to three shot kills absolutely fantastic and what completely transforms this weapon i have on this tippled grip tape and then also i have on fully loaded on this class setup so i can actually use the 0.41 ae rounds all the way from kill one to kill 30 until i get that nuke just a solid class setup i recommend you guys going ahead and checking this out immediately if you guys are looking for a good rushing run and gun build now again same exact secondary the renetti pistol and for the perks quick fix restock tracker proximity mine as well as the stem shot and then finally i have a dlc weapon as a class setup the growl we all know the growl 5.56 is disgusting 
I have on the Monarch Suppressor, the Tempest 26.4 inch Archangel Barrel, which is going to add damage range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control. In my opinion, the absolute best barrel to run on the growl. It's going to significantly reduce that vertical recoil, making this weapon an absolute laser. I have on the Commando Foregrip to stabilize those shots, making this weapon just literally does not move point and shoot at any range across the map. I have on the TAC laser, again, because it's going to work fantastic with this gun, with this increased aim down side speed, aim with stability, as well as aim walking steadiness. And then finally, I have on the 60 round magazine, so I can take out 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 enemies at a single time without actually having to reload. If you guys are looking for a solid growl class setup, this is it. This is going to be a setup you guys can use to go for your first nuke. Again, same exact secondary with quick fix restock tracker proximity mine as well as the stem shot now if you guys are going to use at least three of these class setups to go for your first nuke i recommend you guys checking out the uzi build I recommend you guys going ahead and checking out my scar build and also i recommend you guys checking out my tried and true kilo one for one class setup that you guys can use with assault and just absolutely just destroy enemies and if you absolutely need a nuke you have a couple days to get it done literally we have about three weeks left of modern warfare go ahead and equip my m4a1 class setup and get that nuke secured hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys want to see any more best class setups make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn those post notifications i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces